This is a clear aligner and it's part of a system called Invisalign, which is a clear brace system that I use to help my patients get straighter and nicer smiles. In addition to the aligners, I also give my patients a couple of other implements that help their treatment go as smooth as possible. So this is called a Chewy. It's a small rubber implement that the patient bites down onto when the aligners are in to make sure the aligners are fully engaged around the teeth. It's made out of some sort of rubber and it's pretty simple but very effective. And this is called a removal tool. Your finger goes into this little hole here and then it's got a little hook to help patients remove their aligners if their nails aren't big enough or they don't want to risk damaging them or anything like that. A lot of patients swear by this so that's why I always pack it into the kit when I fit their Invisalign for them. And over the years in passing I've had a few patients mention that they wish there was a way of carrying all these things in one place rather than in bits to prevent them from getting lost or misplaced. Invisalign actually sends their own custom made case which is actually quite nice, it's very well made, very durable. There's just a couple of issues. Firstly, although it's got enough space to store two aligners and the Chewy, there's absolutely no space for you to fit the removal at all. No matter which configuration you go for, there just won't be enough space. And secondly, this is good for most aligner sizes. However, I've had patients in the past where the aligners are too large for this and they struggle to get it in. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I made the Invisi kit. It's a complete and compact companion for anyone having clear aligner treatment. It's got a dedicated space for almost any aligner size, a space for a chewy and also a removal tool. It's also got a couple of magnets to help close the lid and it gives that nice satisfying noise and hopefully it looks pretty good as well. So let's get into it. The first challenge was to figure out what's the best way to organise these items within the container and it became apparent pretty quickly that if I was to put everything on one level, no matter which way I put them together, the container was just going to be too big. And one of the goals that I have for this is that I want it to be as compact as possible. So after some thinking, I decided to think outside the box, pun intended. So let's spend a few minutes going through the plan that I have in mind. This container is going to have two parts. It's obviously going to have a top and it's going to have a bottom part. So the way this is going to work is if you dry out the two parts, on the top part, so the top, the lid effectively of the container, I'm going to have space for the removal tool. This is a particularly awkward shape and again, going back to the early part of the video, no matter how I organise things, this was always getting in the way somewhere. So I think to solve that problem, we get it out of the way and we put that on the lid part of the box. Then on the bottom part, we have space for aligners. The aligner space is going to be quite, it's not going to be perfectly well defined because aligners come in different shapes and sizes. So I'm thinking something like that and then that will give most aligners a good chance of fitting in that space. And then lastly, just near the aligners, we have space for the chewy. So this will be the top, this will be the bottom, and then we're going to go ahead and design in CAD a hinge system that will help the box open and close. And then lastly, I'm thinking somewhere or the other to add some magnets so that when you shut the box, you get that nice clicking sound. That's the idea. On paper, everything always looks good. So now what we're going to do is jump into Fusion 360 and see if we can turn this and get one step closer to making it into some sort of reality. So to start off with, I made some rough models of the aligners, the Chewy, and then the removal tool. For the removal tool, I took a calibrated image, imported it as a canvas and traced around it because it had a bit of an awkward shape. The aligner and the Chewy were very simple to make. And once I had some rough models, I was able to make the inserts that all these bits would eventually get housed into. And then what was left was to create the plastic shells that the inserts would go into, create the hinge mechanism so that everything can open and close easily, and add a little tab on the top part so that when the box closes it sort of overlaps the bottom part. And once everything was all put together, this is what the final design looked like. In Fusion 360 it looked really good, I was quite happy with the way it turned out. The hinge mechanism seemed to be working well and I was really really digging the colour scheme. I opted for blue and black because that's in line with the original Invisalign branding. So with the model done, I was ready to go and get things printed. So for the inserts, I'm going to be using blue TPU. Blue is one of the main Invisalign colors, so that's consistent with the branding, which is cool. 
and TPU is a rubbery filament which means that we can put the items into the inserts and they'll have that nice snug grip. And then for the main plastic body we're going to be using black PETG. Again black is in keeping with the Invisalign branding plus I love black I think it looks cool in pretty much anything so we're going to go for that. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use a little technique that I've picked up in watching other YouTubers and try and brand the Invisalign logo on the top part of the case. And for that, we will be using some blue PETG. I prefer PETG. I love the way it comes off the textured plate and leaves that nice rough looking surface. I think it looks pretty good. And from what I understand, it's also a little bit stronger. So those are our materials. Let's go ahead and get everything printed. Right guys, so the parts are finished printing and they look pretty good. Let's have a quick run through. So, in blue we've got our two inserts. This is the one where the aligners will sit in and a space for the chewy. And you can just about see there that small circle. That's where the magnet's going to be going. And then the top one, that is space for the removal tool. And I've added a bit of an extra cutout here so that you can get your fingers around it when you want to take it off. So those are the inserts. These were made in TPU. There's a little bit of string that I need to get rid of, but otherwise, pretty nice prints. And then we have the plastic cases. This is for the top, this is for the bottom. And if you guys can see here, we've got our lovely Invisalign logo there. That's come out really, really nice. It was printed in one layer using a, a single layer multi-filament technique that I found online. It's come out looking really good. So that's that. And then here we have our hinge system. So, whoops. So we've got a little rod. That's our, if I can get it to focus, there we go. So that's our hinge. That's gonna go through. And then we've got two little stoppers that are gonna stop it from coming out. I tried to match the PET G here with the TPU here so that we get a similar blue, blue vibe going here. But that's come out looking very, very nice. Now it's time to get everything assembled and hopefully it all works the first time. And here we have it guys, the final completed Invisi kit. All in all, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Firstly, one of my goals was to make it as small as possible and if you compare it to the original Invisalign case, although it is a little bit bigger, I don't think that extra size makes it unusable. I think it's still small enough for you to fit in a bag or a purse, especially if you're going out anywhere. 
considering this has more items within it i think it actually saves you a little bit of space but feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments inside the inserts are really well made i'm happy with the aligner space i think any i think this will fit a range of aligners within i think it'd have to be pretty big for your aligners to not fit within this space and then the cutout for the chewy and the removal tool just work exactly how i had in mind and lastly if you have a look at the overall thing i really like the way this thing looks i think the black and blue is a really good combination and i really like the nice rough textured surface you get from using a textured sheet and petg so all in all i'm quite happy with how this turned out and that's a wrap for this one guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider liking subscribing and commenting just to show the channel some support as always i'll put some links to similar projects that i've done in the past and I'll see everyone in the next video.